Good evening, friends. Good evening. It is indeed with joy that we come into your midst to leave with you one or two thoughts that might be of help to you in the coming days. When we come back from the world of spirit, we find some instrument that we can use and we try to find the words that will mean something to you. Sometimes we succeed, sometimes we fail. But always we try to give you our love, the love that comes to you from spirit, the love that is all around you, the love that you should share with those with whom you come into contact on the earth plane. You are spiritualists, but have you stopped to think of what that word means? Spiritual, spiritualists. In other words, you are people who realize that there is more to you than the material body which functions in the world of matter. You are spirit here you will be spirit when you leave your body behind. You were spirit before you came to the earth plane. When you speak about the eternity of spirit, remember that it is not just a matter of coming to the earth plane and then of leaving it and going on. You must remember that you were before you came to earth. You lived in the spirit world and you left it for a short while because you had to come to earth, what for? To enjoy yourselves, to acquire this world's goods or to make something of your lives. When you came to the earth plane, you chose for yourself a set of circumstances you were able to look down and you saw parents. Perhaps they were a couple who loved one another and who wanted a child to complete their happiness. Or perhaps they were living together as a matter of habit and felt that perhaps a child would cement their relationship. Or you could even have seen someone on their own who was lonely and needed someone to love. But whatever it was, it was your choice and your choice alone. In the old days, the priests would talk about the, the seat of judgment. They would talk about when you left your body behind, that you would go and in front of God and you would be judged according to the good and the evil that you had done during your earth life. And if the evil outweighed the good, you would find yourself in hell. But if the good outweighed the evil, then you would go on to heaven. And their idea of heaven was that you would be playing a harp, joining with the other angels in praising God. Now you have come to a stage where you realize that a lot of the ideas that people used to hold are no longer tenable today. You have found that there is more to life than the things that you can touch and see and feel. You know that each one of you possesses that soul, that spirit, that everlasting part of God. And remember, God is within you. You call it God. But how much does that word mean to you? Do you still have a vision of, of an old gentleman sitting on a throne with a long white beard, with <coughs> wings that flap in the breeze, surrounded by angels? Or do you realize that God cannot be translated into words? God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Spirit is vast. Spirit is so vast that it embraces everything that has life. There is a spark of that spirit 
within every single <coughs> living organism, whether it be a flower, a tree, a bird, a fish, an animal, or a human being. That spirit is the same throughout all life, because life is spirit. We are trying to give you a picture of what it will be when you leave the earth plane. When you look back upon your life on earth, you will not find that there will be any judges to condemn you or praise you. The only judge that there will be when you leave your body behind and go on into the next stage of existence, when you first come over to our side of life, you will not remember all that you experienced during your earth life. But gradually the things will be shown to you. And each time you make a little step of progress, so you will see a little more of your life, a little more of the plan, a little more of the pattern that there is. That pattern can consist of bright colours and patches of shadow, because no one comes to the earth plane, no spirit takes on a body of matter of whatever form it is, without being subject to happiness and sorrow, without being put to tests, some great, some small, without finding on the earth plane something that will be of help to you in your progression. You will always point to people whom you say have an easy life. And you look at your own life and you think how difficult it has been. And when you come up against problems, you find yourself saying, why me? Why not you? In solving that problem, you are growing spiritually. You are developing yourself just that little bit more so that you are more able to cope with the circumstances of life a little better. Remember, if you are given much to suffer, if you do have a hard row to hoe, if you find things are more difficult for you than for other people, it is because you are stronger than someone else because you are a little further along the road of progress, because you can cope. And if you remember that there is spirit, the great spirit, close by you, trying to help you, trying to give you strength, not making up its mind for you, but trying to show you how it is possible for you to make up your mind. We often think that if everything in life were black and white, there would be no difficulties on earth because you would instinctively choose the white. But it is when circumstances are shades of grey that you have the difficulty. When you know that if you do certain things that you are going to hurt someone, when you know that if you are going to help somebody, you are hindering somebody else. Those are the circumstances that make your life, that build your character, develop your soul. We do not mind how you phrase it. But remember, every spark of life upon the earth plane is in a state of progress towards perfection, towards God. You will not attain it in one life or in a dozen. You do not attain it when you get to the other side immediately. You are striving the whole time, striving to deal with life a little better, to give a little more love, a little more understanding. You often come up against the problem of how much you should do for other people how much is it better to let somebody struggle on their own? When should you give advice? When should you keep quiet? 
you have to make up your own mind about these things. When we come back from spirit and give you hints and ideas, we only do it so as to make you think, but you have to make the decision yourself. Of course, sometimes you will make a wrong decision. Sometimes you will come up against failure. But remember, the man who never made a mistake never makes anything. Failure is not a wicked word. It is what you learn from the failure that is important. If you have let somebody down, if you have done something for which you are sorry afterwards, it does not matter how you did it or why you did it. What is important is what you do afterwards, is how you can take that failure, that misunderstanding, that word spoken in the wrong place, and out of it attain something that will help you if the situation arises again. We often refer to your life upon the earth plane as going to a school. When you send your children to school, you do not want them to have easy lessons all the way through. You want your child to have the best start in life. You want it to be encouraged in the things that it is good at. You want it to be helped in the subjects that it finds difficult. But above all, you want it to have its mind stretched, not overstretched, but stretched enough so that the child fulfills its potential. That is what you come to the earth plane for, to fulfill your potential. It is difficult for us. When we come back to the earth plane, we take on a body, we enter somebody's mind, we try to use the ideas and the words that are in that mind in order to put over some idea to you. But remember, we are not perfect. It is just that we have gone on a little stage further than you. It is like someone in an upper form teaching or trying to teach someone in a lower form. We do not condemn you because you are not perfect, because you have not attained everything that we have attained. We give you our love because it is through love that you will progress. It was love that the Master Christ came to earth to preach, to give love, to give service, to give help, but also to know when to stand by and let someone make their own mistakes. Let them learn through their own experience. Your world today is a world in which matter is very important. The material goods seem to you to be more and more important. We are not decrying that. It is human to want to have comfortable surroundings. It is human to want to have enough food to eat, a job that you enjoy, to be able to live when you retire in comfort. But you must remember that there are millions and millions of souls upon your earth plane who do not have your advantages. You have got to learn to give love. Give it unstintingly. Give love to everyone you meet. If you just gave a smile when you meet someone in the street, you needn't even say a word. Just smile at them. And if you do that regularly, you will find that automatically they will begin to smile back. It is important for you on the earth plane to try to spread happiness. Happiness consisting not merely of achieving a worldly standard, worldly success, but a happiness coming from inward serenity coming from a knowledge that you are eternal, that you are spirit here, that you will be spirit when you leave your body. A happiness that comes from knowing that death is not the end, it is just one stage in your existence. 
we ask that you will take this love, the love that comes to you from spirit, that you will share it with those with whom you come into contact, that you will give out thoughts of love, thoughts of happiness, thoughts of joy. And when the shadows come, you will be able to face them, knowing that through facing and dealing with the shadows, you are building your characters, developing your spirits. We leave you with our love, praying always that you will find your pathway on the earth plane, strewn with love, love for everyone. Good night, and God bless you. God bless you.